This is Anton. Anton works hard in a regular nine to five job. He's tired and frustrated, but he thinks that this is the only way to earn and make a living. Let's call him person A. Every day at the end of the month, Anton receives a check for his labor and goes to building B. Let's call this building the bank. He enters through the main door, deposits his hard earned money along with millions of other people just like him. Anton represents 85% of the population of the planet. Now this is Clayton. Let's call him person C. Unlike Anton, Clayton doesn't work a nine to five job. Actually, he doesn't work at all. His daily activities consist of his favorite pastimes, like having fun, helping people, taking care of his friends and his family. Clayton also goes to building B, the bank, at the end of the month. The difference between him and Anton, however, is that instead of walking through the main door to deposit money, he enters the bank through a small secret entrance at the back of the building. And instead of depositing the money, he takes the money out of the bank. This is the same money Anton and millions like him had deposited the previous days. Now, after Clayton receives his funding from the bank, which is quite easy to do if you follow certain rules that we show you, he goes and opens up a profitable business where he makes a ton of money without working because he hires, you guessed it, Anton to work for him. At the end of the month, the same scene repeats over and over again. Clayton pays a check to Anton, the same money he got from the bank, the same money Anton deposited in the previous month. Anton gets his check, goes back to the bank and deposits it along with millions of other people. Then Clayton goes to the bank, takes out even more money and opens other businesses. Clayton also uses his money to invest in things like real estate. By investing large sums of money, he buys properties in bulk for dirt cheap and flips them immediately for a hefty profit. Now he has doubled, tripled, or even quadrupled the money which he got from the bank. And he now has more than plenty to pay the bank back, to pay Antoine and enjoy life. He does what we call non-performance income. That means he doesn't perform. Other people perform for him. He doesn't work. Other people work for him. He just gets the money from the bank, invests it, lays back, relaxes, and watches the income grow. My question is, who do you want to be? It's entirely up to you. Contact us today and discover how you can become person C and escape the nine to five rat race by joining thousands of individuals who got funded through 200, 500, even $1 million and enjoy a happy carefree life by doing non-performance income. Becoming rich has never been easier. Just stop doing what you're doing and start following the rules. Awesome. Awesome. Hey guys, it's Yaya Diamond of Dream Chasers Radio, and I am so very excited to have my next guest on the show. Normally I go live uh, at 8 a.m., um, but today was like, okay, he's on the West Coast, I'm on the East Coast, so we had to do it this way. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you have your pen and a piece of paper ready to write all of these things down. But if you don't, I have the website. You guys know how I am. I got it. It's right here. It's a economicmasonry.com. And I want to welcome to the show, Derek Whitehead. What's up, sir? How are you doing? Hello. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Hey. Nice to you. How are you? Nice to see you. It's good to see you again. Yeah, I've been kind of busy, but, uh, you know, we just did a, a live seminar at the Post Oak in Houston. And uh, that pretty went pretty well. And then we were invited over to this guy, Johnny, out there in Houston that makes all the grills for all the the uh, uh, rappers and everything. Oh, so wow. we had birthday, private birthday party and Mayweather and and everybody else that was could, you could name was there. And we were happy to be invited. Uh, evidently, they, they've heard about me. And so we take companies also so people like that were interested. And we had a great time. That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. I am just so very happy to have you back. Uh, so many people have been like, oh my gosh, when are you going to have that guy back on the show? And I'm like, well, he's been on like a couple of times already. If you guys like watch the videos. <laughs> so, 
but questions are welcomed. We are live right now. So questions are welcomed. And I did see someone down there, but I don't see them anymore. Uh, I guess they'll have to log back in. So Derek, I, I really wanted to kind of touch bases with you and go over the basics really quick because a lot of people are confused as to how they can do that, especially in this time and day, just go to the bank, take it. I mean, I know there's more involved and I know that they have to go to your website. You do have free web webinars and things like that, but, you know, kind of like um, yeah. explain it to us. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, basically what we do is we do something that's called a, a scratch pub coat. And that's the high finance word. That's not a word that uh, is used on the Internet. And a lot of things that we that we attempt to teach uh, is high finance. We don't want to do basic stuff. We want to show you throughout my uh, 28 years of working in boiler rooms and boutiques. And, and you've probably seen that movie, Boiler Room. And I was a... Uh, uh, privileged enough to uh, work in there and, and then uh, my my years in banking and uh, in a wholesale bank, which lends the money to the resale, retail bank, uh, things like that uh, uh, is, is high finance. So there's, there's people that go to, um, you know, like these, these uh, uh, schools, they go to school for like um, uh, business, they go to business school. And most of the time, the business school is there to teach you how to work for somebody else, right? So, you know, my ex-wife, she she runs um, she runs uh, Northrop Grumman's um, uh, space department. She has a PhD in business. She used to sit on the stairs while I'd be talking, talking to people, and she'd be having her hands on her chin like this, listening. And she, and when I, the conversation was over, she would always say, "Derek, I have a PhD in business." And I never was taught any of this stuff. I said, well, that's because, you know, you, you're not meant to learn it. You're meant to work for somebody. In high finance, this stuff is generally taught by um, what they call the skull and, skull and crossbone uh, schools, like, like Harvard and all those people that were, uh, that go to those schools, they pay huge amounts of money and they go to Wall Street and they become senators and they, they're pretty much the leaders of the country, you know? Um, so, what I wanted to do was, I said, I wanted to expose the general public to some of these things. Now, mind you, I was always told by these little people, you know, and uh, I managed $20.2 billion under, uh, uh, under management with a hedge fund, $400 hedge fund in notes. Now, remember that word, notes, because that's where the real money is made. Everything has a note. Everything has a note. Your house has a note. Your car has a note. Uh, the computer has a note. If you somebody gave you credit, it is a note. Even a dollar bill in your pocket, it says Federal Reserve note. So not many people are aware of how this, of how the, the money works. But uh, guess what? Uh, it's 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 a, a very quiet, 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 quiet area. Very quiet area. And uh, so I said, you know, people need to uh, be exposed to this. And they've always told me, Mr. Derrick, you know, little guy, Mr. Derrick. I said, yes, yes. He said, uh, sit down, sit down here. And it says, uh, straighten out your tie. I don't know what the tie thing is, straighten out. Well, no matter what, straighten your tie, right? And uh, always this pocket handkerchief, which I don't have today, but it's always straighten out your, your, your pocket. And he says, uh, uh, Mr. Derek, the game is to be sold and not told. Now, funny, everywhere I, I, I worked, everywhere I, 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 every place I've been involved in said the same thing. And I began to say, well, wait a minute, what is this, like a code, you know, <laughs> a private code? So, you know, here I am now out here spreading the knowledge and, and doing what I was told not to do. So if I get turned, if I get turned into oil, it's all you guys fault. Right? <laughs> oh, but, my gosh. Know, yeah, I want to... Uh, uh, start by saying this is what they call a scratch pub code. Uh, the scratch pub code is taking a, cup, a person or a company from scratch. If you have a driver's license, if you have a social security number, you're a citizen, uh, then you, you qualify for a scratch pub code. That means you could be living under a bridge and you can go in and get Cred Corp Fund. It's Credit Corporation Funding, Cred Corp Fund. And so the Scratch Pub Code simply 
It is uh, taking a company from scratch all the way to a publicly traded company, which is the highest valuation of any company, of any company. And so uh, the Scratch Pub Co, thus the term Scratch Publicly Traded Company. So taking a company from scratch to a, to a, all the way to the top or anything in between, that's a Scratch Pub Co. So, uh, you know, when they first came here, the forefathers, they first came here, they, uh, it's funny, they, they come here, they said, well, we, we came here for religious, uh, you know, for religious reasons, so we could practice our religion, you know, free, freely. You know, they, you know, you remember that, they come here, they, they're talking here, you know, yeah, soon, never snotty nose, and a hunchback of notes of game, it's on those names, that's a lie. They did not come here for religious reasons. They came here for the land and free labor, right? And so in order to get the land, I mean, can not believe George Washington came here and took and took two, two million acres. Now, now, now contemplate that two million acres. So they, I don't think they came here for religious reasons, right? And Thomas Jefferson, 1.8 million acres. So, mm -hmm. uh, the scratch pub go. So we're doing non-performance income. That means you don't work, they work. We don't entertain, we don't sing, we don't dance, we don't do any of that stuff anymore. That's over. That's over. We're gonna do it the same way they did it. And that's and what they did was come here and they got the money. After they got the money, then they went out and they had other people work. So that's a scratch pub go. So if you are playing basketball for a living or singing and dancing or, you know, whatever, you, you know, digging ditches, whatever you're doing, trimming trees, that's over. That's over. So we have to think like the rich thing or the wealthy. Anybody can be rich, right? I mean, you can be rich in, in words. I'm talking about wealth. So yeah. in saying that, in saying that, uh, we want to show you how the rich go in. And they use what they call a corporation. Okay, so a little background on the corporation. The corporation is basically what people use to get money. Now, a lot of people misunderstand. They think that the corporation is there so that they can uh, so they can go do business. But what I want to do is explain the true the, uh, the the true purpose of the corporation. It's not to do business. The corporation is a special purpose entity. The United States is a, is a corporation out of Delaware. Just look that up. We are corporations. The states are corporations. The cities are corporations, unless you're very rural. Uh, and we are corporations. Just turn over your social, you see a corporate number. So, you know, all this corporate stuff going on and nobody's really paying attention to it because nobody's teaching. Mm -hmm. right? So there's no need for Section 8. There's no need for government cheese, there's no need for free health care. Just go to the bank with the corporation. That is your straw man. Like they use you as their straw man and borrow against you from the Fed and you'll work until you're half dead to pay the debt back that they borrow. Now we have our own straw man. We can do the same thing that they do. And we are not responsible, right? There's ways to go in and get the money and then not be responsible. Yeah. So, so the we the corporation is a person. So I would like everybody out there, all your viewers, uh, to understand that first of all, the corporation is a special purpose vehicle. Now that's something you can probably look up online. Special purpose vehicle. You say, well, what is that, Mister Whitehead? You know, and and uh, people always bother. I say, go look it up. A special purpose entity or a special purpose vehicle. And we use the corporation to get money to do business. We do not do business to get money. Mm -hmm. Let's say that again. Most people go out and they get a business. I say, what are you getting that business for? They say, so I can do business. What are you getting that corp for? So I can do business. Well, uh, that's why a lot of times people fail because they don't understand the natural path. So the corporation is, 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 is for getting money. Then you do business. Mm. 
okay? Mm. It's a special purpose entity or a special purpose vehicle. Now, what right. do I mean by that? You can probably look that up and it'll show you, but uh, you know, you just never heard of it before. So uh, the special purpose entity, right? If you're doing something that the bank likes, then it's gonna be a special purpose entity. If you're doing something that the bank doesn't like, then it's a special purpose vehicle. Now, uh, we want to use the corporation to go in and get the money. So if we use the corporation to go in and get the money, we're going to have to structure it properly because they're going to say no if you don't have certain things that they want. So if yeah. they say we want red socks, red socks, red shoes, you know, and a red jacket, then walk in with that. Don't walk in with red socks, red shoes, and a blue jacket. You will not get the money. Okay, so what I'm here to do is to try to attempt to teach you the rules, uh, in in my opinion, on how to get that money, right? The structure structure the corp uh, properly, which is a special purpose entity. So let's describe the entity. A corp is a person. You're a person. I'm a person. The corp is a person, and they did that to separate themselves from any liability. Mm -hmm. Right. So knowing that the corporation is a, is a is a is a person, just like the name, it says corpse, a body, like a like a dead person. You bring the life. So you taste, touch, feel, smell and hear for it. That's what that's what you do, because it can't do that. So you bring it to life. So when you walk in the bank, you should do something that's called a seven. The seven structure. So the seven structure is basically. Own a Donald Trump uh, Bezos, but most people don't know, don't understand. So here, now the news, right? So mm -hmm. uh, the seventh structure is a C corporation. So banks don't like LLCs. You know, people every day, people have gotten to know the LLC. So they says, well, at least they went out, went out and got an LLC. But that's the that they they basically getting. They're basically getting the business, they're getting the business, the corporation to do business when you get an LLC. You can't get any money. I mean, you, you have a very uh, uh, limited amount of money you can get and it can't go but so high, right? So we want to go to the moon. We don't want to, you know, have limitations. And that's exactly what the LLC is. So I asked a person, I say, I says, uh, well, sir, what kind of a uh, corporation do you have? He'll say, well, I don't have a corporation. I have an LLC. And I says, uh, well, an LLC is a corporation. It is a liability corporation. And so you'll hear people online all the time saying, you know, I, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. We do have some connection issues, but don't worry. We're getting him back. My goodness. Wow. So, Mr. Derek Whitehead is frozen. However, we do have Sean Tamora on the show. Welcome to the show, Sean. How are you? Uh oh. I think your mic. Okay, there we go. You should be good now. Okay, okay. Looks like I'm really close here. I'm on my, I'm actually on my cell phone. My, my computer. We've been, we've had some um, some some uh, construction workers working on our place, so oh. my uh, my computer is, is not working properly because the internet is down. So I'm using my phone, and my water's not working. So excuse me, but oh, I, I'm okay. dressed. I, I got ready earlier, but um, <laughs> so just a little background on myself. Yes, uh, we've been I've been in, I've been in business or been operating ever since I got out, got out the military in the mid '90s. Um, I went on and got licensed, and that's when I, you know, took part of my first IPOs. We did several IPOs, and I pretty much learned, um, you know, the venture capital side of it, how to raise money for companies, and how to take companies public. Mm -hmm. um, took some time off, uh, and roughly around 2005, we basically started our own company. My partner and I, we started our, our own company, a telecommunications company, and we ended up taking that company public. And we've had we had great success with that, um, and then you know, illness kind of set me back a little bit. But I'm, we're 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 pretty much back in the business. So 
again, what we do is we don't deal with multi-billion dollar companies. That's for okay. you know Morgan Stanley's and and the city banks, things of that nature. We deal with small to medium sized businesses, businesses that that you know roughly on average they they have revenues of you know 1.5 million and up. Uh, we're we're capable of doing. Uh, you know, uh, you know, some lower uh, end companies as well, some startups, but it has to be a really good idea and it has to be, you know, really scalable. Yeah. Um, we're actually going to be in Atlanta. We're having a, uh, a, a, a seminar in Atlanta on the 30th, it starts at four o'clock at the Four Seasons. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to meet myself, Mr. Whitehead, my partner, Cal Freeman. We'll be able to talk business. Uh, you know, you'll be able to hear what we got to talk about, but that's that's pretty much my thing. So, like again, we take companies public and we raise capital. We do some consulting. If you need business plans, uh, pitch decks, things of that nature, we're able to do that as well. And we have tons of experience doing those. Um, and um, if you guys have any questions for me, I, you know, I'm, I'm here to uh, definitely to answer them. Definitely. You know, I, I find that um, when when it comes to finance, a lot of people don't understand what they can and can't do and they feel stuck. You know how that you feel stuck? You, you ever felt stuck? Like as if, OK, I started this business. I put everything I got into this business. I did everything. I, and I still feel like as if I'm not moving forward. Um, how do people go about? I mean, I know that um, Derek was talking about you know, getting that cooperation, getting that started, but there are just so many different steps. Do you guys talk about that in the seminar? Yes, actually, uh, Mr. Whitehead kind of goes over that. Uh, you know, I think with small to medium businesses, the problem that they have is, you know, you may get, you, you get some businesses that, that want to raise capital and they don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. You get some businesses that, they would like to take. They would like to take their business to the next level, but it's not too many. It's it's not too many of people like us out there to right. take businesses to the next level. And we have that. You know what we do is we what we do is called a mini IPO, mm -hmm. and with that we're able to work with small to medium sized businesses. Uh, un unaudited financials we can raise twenty million, uh, and audited financials we can raise up to seventy five million. And we can actually raise a little bit more with, you know, just different um, security raises, but that's, that's pretty much, you know, the 75 million. And that's done through general solicitation. Mm -hmm. So not only are you raising money for your business, but you're actually um, doing a lot of promotion as well. So that's, it's, it's two advantages with that. Right. Um, again, you know, small and medium sized business. I know like when we first went public, we didn't think we can do it. You know, but, you know, they loosened up the regulations and things of that nature to where you don't have to have a billion dollar company in nature. So, you know, small and medium sized businesses, we deal with them every day. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people are way under that, <laughs> way under that. Of how, course, of how course. Can, how can they begin to uh advance by getting those small micro loans i call those you know those little things that keep your maybe keep your lights on or even hire your first or second employee i mean is there such a thing right you know uh mr whitehead he does something that's called business funding and he puts together he, you're able to 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 get an age corporation and he directs you in the right areas in order for you to get the business funding. So a lot of times that business funding may be the 10 grand, the 20 grand, the 50 grand up to a million. And that initially, that initial funding right there is, you know, what you do to expand your business, to pay the light bills, to pay employees, things of that nature. So you can use that for that as well. Mm, mm, I like that. I like that. You know, so how long have you guys been working together, you and Mr. Whitehead? And and what kind of a program, if people were to go to the Atlanta conference, should they expect? Right. Well, it's, it's a funny story because uh, I've known of Derek, uh, Mr. Whitehead, since uh, the 90s. Uh, because, uh, you know, my partner, he actually introduced 
Derek to the venture capital side of the business. And I was around, but you know, I might, I shook his hand plenty of times, but I didn't know him like my partner knew him. So basically, you know, what we wanted to do, we wanted to kind of take this show on the road because there's a lot of people in America that needs help with their business. Mm -hmm. they either need Alton and, 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 and you gotta understand now, now going back when we first started, yes, I had my license and yes, I had experience taking companies public and doing IPOs, but when you're starting it on your own, it's a totally different situation. It's like you have some people that can manage money, but their own household is a wreck as far as handling their own money. Right. So when we first started, we didn't have any consultants. There was nobody to help us. There was the people that were raising capital. They wanted a large share of your business or they were snakes. They would, I mean, it was just rough when we were, when we first started. So, you know, my partner and I, what we decided to do was to put together uh, just a package of honest, truthful, you know, ex of experienced men that um, that that were able to show people, you know, how the correct way of structuring your business, uh, raising capital for them, taking companies public, and, and doing it the right way. And all of us, myself, Mr. Whitehead, my partner, my partner Cal, we're just we just believe in honesty. Because like I said, this this industry, this financial industry, it's a bunch of people out here. They're in it for themselves. And we just want to help people. I mean, uh, I'm not sure if you guys heard about my story, but uh, a few years ago, I was pretty much on my deathbed. And one of the things I promised myself was uh, that I would finish college, right? And I would help people out. So I'm, I'm basically, you know, achieving my, you know, what I, what I set out to be. Right. Wow. That that's amazing. So you're okay. So I wanted to go ahead and, and add back to the stream, Mr. Whitehead, because I we lost him for a second there, but we got him back. Um, you know, a lot of people are tuning in and they're trying to grasp at whatever they can get their hands on. And you were saying, uh, Sean, how Mr. Whitehead does have different things and different advices that he can give. But the, you have that Atlanta exactly. thing. What got what what how and what can people do to become a part of that conference that you have coming up in Atlanta? Derek, are you available? Can you hear? Yes, I can hear. Uh, what was that question okay. to be? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So, what and how can people get involved with that Atlanta conference? Oh, yeah. So uh, they can go to uh, economicmasonry.com, economicmasonry.com, or they can go to Eventbrite, and they can sign up. And uh, what I wanted to say is, is that uh, uh, those, the, the guys out there at the wonderful, beautiful hotel, you know, we try to go, we talk about money here, so we should go first class all the way. I mean, we're, we're not talking about, you know, credit or, or, or uh, you know, uh, corporations we're talking about finance we're talking about money so you know we're at uh uh sports season which is beautiful beautiful hotel and uh they actually opened up and gave us another giant another room they gave us another room because uh what they act they asked us they said uh so what are you we're going to be talking about you know because they, they want to make sure you know you're not talking about you know uh, you know like harm and puppies or something so they actually gave us another room after we explained to them what we were talking about. And they said, like, oh, this is magnificent. So they gave us room. So what I want to do is I want to invite all your people out there that's listening to this. Uh, if, you have, if you're if you on this uh, uh, screen, then you can, you can come and we'll get in for free. Just make sure you say Yaya uh, at the door and you a VIP and go past everybody. Um, also, bring a friend because we want to get the word out to as many people as possible on what we need to do and how we need to do it. So we're going to be teaching on, uh, you know, uh, how to get credit, corporation, funding, and then we're going to go over to this guy. I don't know if everybody understands who we're talking to. This is Sean and uh, his partner Kyle. About 28 years ago, these guys brought me into a boiler room 
that was pretty successful then already. I mean, I, you know, I had chains, restaurants in San Diego, home style fish and chips, as you can see some of the flats on the wall, uh, you know, where we helped the children. A bit. You know, we give about $250,000 every, every year for the children, and, uh, you know, because the children need toys. And uh, then I had two car dealerships that you can see on the wall back here. And then we had a Primo, Primo and Klein Auto, uh, you know, and so that was went pretty good. You know, the chain of restaurants and all this stuff. And then Kyle walks in. He says, hey, man, you know, they told me that you do here at this location. And I'm like, yeah, well, cool, you're a distributor, man. What's going on? I said, okay. He you're doing pretty damn good. I said, I thank you. you let's eat. Got out, we ate, got full, had some soda, whatever, sat back and just put it. He said, yeah, man, you're doing pretty good. I said, uh, thank you, brother. He said, but you make your pain. I said, I'll make it. I said, brother, you come here and insult me and eat my food and tell me I'm making pain. I said, do you see what that, that car out there is? We have two loads of flying water in San Diego. And we sell on the on the low end of prime water we sell, you know, Nissan Honda, Toyota and on the high end of uh, free water we sell uh, so uh, yeah, Jaguar. Mr. You know, Whitehead, your sound is, is muffled a little bit. I'm trying to uh I hear everything you're saying, but uh is there another way to to get a better sound? Can you hear me better now? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, so uh on the high end uh, dealership is called Jaguar, Mercedes, BMW, and Bentley. And, uh, you know, I got all the things going on. I said, brother, can you see that car out there? I'm driving. That's a Lambo. They call it a Lamborghini. He said, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, dude, but you're still making pennies. I said, if I'm making pennies, just show me the dollars. I'll be a smart, you know. He said, well, okay, I will. The couple be Monday. I believe it's Monday or Tuesday. So I went in, you know. Picked him up, we met, and then we drove down to uh, San Diego. I never forget this big brown building down there. And he walked me in, I see these Lamborghinis and Rolls Royces. I said, What is this, man? A high, a high in car dealership? He starts laughing. He starts taking these numbers, comes upstairs. He does a secret knock. Set the hand, and the hand, they split it. Man, lock the back of that up. So he said, Sit here, and I'll be right back. If anybody asks you, tell them. You're my assistant. I said, you're your assistant. Okay. All right. So he walked off, looking back, smiling. There's this kid in front of me. This kid is on the phone. These guys are in there with their sleeves rolled up, Rolex watches, Cartier watches. I'm saying, there's money in here. And they're all on the phone. And this kid in front of me, this kid is on the phone talking about, you know what? Yeah, Mr. McLaughlin, you know, how much money did I make you six months ago? How much did I make you a year ago? You know, you're the first one that I called on this. You know, you gotta, we need 125,000 shares. What do you mean? You gotta ask, ask to put your ass on? You just click. He calls back. I, I'm not trying to do something that, but look, we gotta get 125,000 shares for you. This is a wonderful opportunity. You're gonna kick yourself if you find out later on how the great this is doing. We're gonna do a, Hundred thousand. I can't don't insult me. Get a hundred thousand shares. I need a hundred twenty-five thousand. You'll do hundred twenty-five thousand shares right now. You'll commit to that. Okay. You, you, you're not making a mistake. Just move by walking. Hey, Mr. Blocky, how are you? I hear that you want to lock in at a hundred twenty-five thousand shares. Uh, that's wonderful. So we're gonna lock you in now with ICO. Uh, uh ICO, whatever what whatever stock was, and you're locked in. Congratulations. I'm sure you'll do that. Okay. Click. Oh. I'm looking at Kyle. So Kyle, what the hell just happened here? He says, that kid just got $20 million out of that phone. I said, what? He said, yeah. And I said, how much is he going to get? He says, 15%. And he's mm. going to do that all day. I went in, bro. He said, that's why I brought you here. He said, here's your debt. You start the day. I called up, I called up Susan, my manager. I said, Susan, yes, look at it. I said, you are no longer making $55,000 a year. You are now making $125,000 a year. You are now managing all of the stores, and I will not do that, ever. 
Wow. So, so guess what? The guy that you're looking at is the guy that brought Kyle in. And then Kyle brought me in. And you probably seen that movie, The Boiler Room, Richard Gasly. That's the guy that was running that boiler room. Mm. Okay. So I've met some wonderful people. Uh, another note, you probably don't realize the person you're talking to, but let me just give you a little background. Him and Kyle, they wrote a book after Kyle. How can a person go in and take a couple of public and not go to the high school, school, you know? He wrote a book on it. And, uh, and uh, this guy and Kyle, listen to me closely, they took their own company public, public and they publicly traded. And they went from somewhere like, uh, how much was that? Uh, how much was that, Sean? What did you guys raise that to? From what? A dollar? I think they took it there. They, they took it from I mean, pennies, not even a nickel. They took it from a nickel, not even a nickel, to two dollars a share. You know what that means? That means that's like forty to fifty million dollars in two years. That's who you saw. That's who you saw. a very modest man, and I had to go in and and, and I said, listen, I'm doing this for uh, guys. I said, I said, I need you guys to come on with me. Educated, Derek. You know we're kind of busy, man. You know, you know we're doing this. We're taking companies public. We're going through Canada. We're going through all this. We're doing all this stuff. They got their own call centers. They own, you know. I said, listen, man. I pushed them for about three weeks. Finally, they gave in and said, okay, Derek, okay. So I said, they going to come on tour with me, man. You going to do this with us, man? He said, okay, Derek. So they both agreed to come on and do this. So now we have a team that is, uh, you're never going to see on the internet. Nobody's going to go in there and, and teach you, unless I haven't seen it, how to take a company from scratch, pick yourself 100, 200, 300, 400, 500,000 dollars, a million from the bank with this, with this. And after you get that money, then we're going to go in and we're going to use this. Now, people have corporations, but they never order the book. They never order the book. Now, one of the things that these guys taught me 28 years ago is that in the back of the book, the book is $125, $125 online. Ah, see? See? <laughs> so Gotta get the book. Yeah, the book is $125 online. And as you know, they have these things in it. Right? Yeah. Little stock papers in the back, right? And so I had I had Kyle once tell me, he says, Derek, he said, that book, those papers is like it's like a license to print money. I never I never uh forgot he said that to me years ago. And it's pretty much that. Pretty much. I mean, so what these guys did was they went into the next level. So what you got to understand is once you go in and get your seed money, then you build your company, right? After you build the company correctly, which is a seven structure, right? And we're going to go over the seven in a second. After you build the seven structure correctly, then you want to go in and take it to the next level. Why not be a public trading company? These guys can go in and raise funds in private equity. Now, familiarize, we need to familiarize ourselves with some of these terms because we want to we want what Oprah has we want what you know Bezos has but actually I don't believe Oprah's supposed to be paid either I don't know why but uh, sometimes people don't want to go public they want to stay private but you can still do private raises if you don't want to go public but public traded company is the highest valuation of any company any company it's about what your company value is it's not how much money you have I got two million dollars in the bank. I'm not impressed. I'm like, well, that's nice. That's very nice. Okay, but if you tell me my corporation is worth ten million dollars, now I know you're doing something because that corp is going to keep growing and growing and leveraging itself, right? So money comes and goes. Money can be spent, but the corporation is there to grow and grow and grow, right? So. Uh, so basically, 
These guys went in, got that corporation, take it to the next. Let's back up a second. Let's look at the seven structures. All right. Right. Now, um, real quick, before you do that, um, I do have an issue with your audio again still. It's kind of, to me, I don't know if it's going in and out. It's kind of like you sound far away. Um, so uh, I wanted to uh, see if we can address that because I want people to actually know what you're saying. Also, you said that if people, when, when people come to the conference, if they say, yeah, yeah, they get in for free and a friend. Was that true? Are you really, are you not jiving me? You real good? You, you, you sure? I, I, I didn't hear the last part. I said, yeah. I, I said, if they say, yeah, yeah, they get into the conference. Yeah, yeah, you put wow. yourself down there and uh, and, and uh, you get in the conference free. That's what I'm saying to you guys. Um, you know, we want everybody to learn uh, as much as possible. And they've given us this extra room, this extra large room, uh, because they believe in what we're doing. And I was surprised at that. Uh, I mean, they, they were they're charging like, you know, seven, twelve thousand dollars for for this room. And then I would say, Well, never mind. Well, okay, we like what you're doing. So we had a conference here, it's like, oh, okay, we're not booked for that room, so you can have the room. So that's a wonderful opportunity. So people can come in. Again, you say yeah, yeah. Uh, you can bypass everybody in the line, just you know, VIP and work yourself in and uh, you get it for you and free. So uh I want to explain the the, uh, the seven because it's very important. So the seven structure is going to be your C corp because remember the LLC they don't like, so we right. need a C corp because the C corp can take you to the moon, right? So the C corp is 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 a, is a structure which is a special purpose entity. Corp is an entity. It's a person. You're a person. You don't own it. Right? You just run it. Right? You help it to you help it run it. You can't think. So the C Corp, then you go down the back of the seven and you have your uh you have your DBA. The DBA, that's the proper structure. And then you go back up. Once you get the money, you have to protect it. Nobody's teaching us how to protect your money. Right? So you get yourself your C Corp, you go back up. You go to the C Corp, you go out, and then you have your holding court. What does the holding court do? It holds assets to protect your money. Because somebody's going to come after that money. So we have to protect it. Nobody on the internet I'll check is teaching you how to protect your money after you get the money. Right? More or less teaching you how to get the money. So now you go in with the C Corp, then you go in, you have your, your holding court, that's why you have. Bank of America Holdings. That's why you have uh, you know, Walmart Holdings. You know, there's a reason for that. Right? You know, so wow. the Holding Corporation is going to write a letter. So, so yeah, I'm sorry, the C Corp is going to write a letter on the seventh. C Corp going out to the Holding Corp, going to say everything you own belongs to you, and you're going to write the letter, state everything. You know, we're we're here. We, uh, you know, that's in the corporation is called the resolution. The resolution, I want everybody to write that down. So, on the resolution, it's going to say, you know, everything we own belongs to you. When you have it notarized, you put it in the book of it. So, if somebody comes to your own trying to, you know, take some of your money, you're going to say, this court is separate from this court, right? The mama and anything under it shares the EIN. But the holding court is a separate court, so it's like it didn't do anything to you, so you can't see it. So that's the holding right. court. It's called mm -hmm. a corporate veil. Like you see a woman, you can't see her face, that's called corporate veil. Now you're going to go out in that holding court if you're really making some money and you really intend to be big, and I think everybody out there should think big. You know, you want to be that person, you know, sitting by the fireplace and and the kids are sitting, the grandkids are sitting by the fireplace, you know, and, and they're looking up over the fireplace and they have friends over and saying, who's that? Right? And, it's, and, and it's you sitting in the chair, you know, like, you know, oh, that, oh that, that's Granddaddy Whitehead. He started all of this. That's what we want. <laughs> right? That's what we want, right? You know, that's what we want. 
Yeah, she's that's 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 grand, beautiful chair. She's sitting there and she's like, you know, and the guy's up there with his hand on her shoulder, you know, like, and, uh, and the kids are all around in the picture. And that's, that's granddaddy Whitehead. That's grandmama such and such sitting in the chair. That's, and they start all of this. That's right. That's what we want. Mm-hmm. That's what we want, right? We cannot leave our children Martin Luther King Boulevard. We can't leave our kids Juneteenth. Okay? We're going to be the first culture to not leave their children anything. That's what they, that's what they, they're predicting. So wow. we got to turn this, we have to turn this around. And yep. nobody's teaching anybody anything. Uh, nobody's, uh, they're all like, I need this money. I need, but the money's free. So you don't need to be competitive. You don't need to be the house this and the field this. You know, today's a different day. It's like 1970, 1960, talking about I don't want $100,000. This is a billion dollar world today. Yeah. So what we want to do is, is rappers are going to get $50 million deals. And some of them can't even read. But a lot of them are very bright. A lot of them are extremely bright. Right? But I'm not saying all of them can't read. I'm saying some damn it. They're like, look, I don't need to read. I got $50 million. I have somebody read it for me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. You read. Right? Yeah, right. But, oh my gosh. Is Mr. Timor, are you gonna be at the conference as well? I'm hoping that we get him back. <laughs> I know that they're doing construction at his place. Mr. Timor. Yeah, his his um his internet is unstable. But will he be at the event as well? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna have uh we're gonna have uh, Casino Mobley. He does. Uh, he's a pretty famous basketball player. Um, he played for the Houston Rockets. He played with Shaq and, and Kobe Bryant and all those guys. And, and uh, you know, uh, he also played for the uh, LA Clippers. You know, famous, pretty famous basketball player. He does motivational speaking now, and so we're gonna have him uh, 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 there. As he was at the Post Oak, he's gonna be there also. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we have, we're going to have uh, myself come in to teach you, take you to the next level on how to get that seed money. How to do yeah. the things that you do to get that seed money and how to use that corporation as a special purpose entity or a special purpose vehicle. Now, a special purpose entity is when the bank, when you have a corporation that the bank likes, like, like, uh, they don't like certain things. They don't like trucking. They don't like real estate. They don't lend to those things. So why would you name your company real estate when you're trying to get money to do business? You're not trying to do business to get money. First you get money, then you take the money to do business. We don't get the corporation to do business. We're skipping, a, we're skipping something here. So we have to first get some money. So the bank is there. Okay, Mr. Whitehead, why would the bank give you you know, fifty thousand, hundred thousand, five hundred thousand uh, dollars with no doc, you know, no, uh, you know, stated income, because you're going to be the personal guarantor for the money. And if you give us put a thousand in the bank, listen to this: the bank is special. I know, I, I, I know how you bank. So if you put a thousand dollars in the bank, do you know the bank now has the bank now has ten thousand on the book to help them? Gain nine times more money. I know. I was talking about that yesterday. Mr. Tamar, I'm glad that you're back with us. Um, you're going to be at the event, yes. uh, from what I understand from Mr. Whitehead. Yes, yes. Yes, we will. We will all be there. Yes. Awesome. We have a couple of other people showing, coming as well, like uh, Catino Mobley. We have, uh, you know, he's a ex-basketball player. My partner, Cal Freeman, is going to be there, and I'm going to be there, and Mr. Whitehead is going to be there. Yes. That's going to be an amazing event. Where is this going to be taking place again? Is there an address that people can actually go to to sign up yeah. or something like that? Yeah, it's going to be at, give me a second here. Let me get mm-hmm. the address. It's going to be at the Four Seasons in Atlanta. Okay. The address is uh, 75 14th Street, Northeast Atlanta. It starts okay. at 4 o'clock. All right. I'm going to go ahead and try to put that in a caption. Um, 
Mr. Whitehead, you know, there is just so many different people and so much that we could talk about. I mean, think about it this way. I mean, it starts from A and it goes to Z and we can't do that here. We can't even do that here. But during the event, um, we're definitely going to be able to, uh, uh, you know, get involved and, and get all the things that we're not doing right, written down and, and corrected. Um, what would you like for people to already have in place before they come to, I mean, what should they have before they come to your event? You try to book up in the last part. I'm sorry, Can what? You, you kind of broke up the last part. Can you say it again? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm saying, what can people have? I mean, what do you expect them to have in place before they come in? Wait, I mean, you know, it's like some people are just starting off and they really don't want to get off on the wrong start. So what would you like them to already have before the event? Uh, a driver's license and a social security. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's simple. I mean, if you guys don't have that, then you need to go ahead and go get that. <laughs> well, Mr. You know, Timor. Really I mean, basically, uh, the company events to learn, they're going to need to do what we're talking about, a driver's license and a social, but they don't need that to come to the event. Mm -hmm. Because uh, once they learn, then they can always go get their driver's license or their social if they don't have it. You know? But we really want them to learn so that they can take this out there. Now, people say, why are you, you know, teaching all these people and everything? Because I understand my assignment. You know, I'm a spiritual man. I'm a spiritual man, and I know all that I've went through and everything that I've gone through in my life, the ups and downs, I've been very, very fortunate. And I know that didn't come from me. Okay, so they have a saying, and I'm not going to do any preaching, but they have a saying that says, that says, you make your path, but the creator guides your steps. Okay, so if you're on here now, it's not by mistake. Okay, we will never, we will never have this opportunity again in our lifetime. We will never be everyone in this same spot at the same time. Never again, but we'll never get this moment back again, right? So something brought us here. Somebody's running for the bus, right? They're running for the bus. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, somebody touches them and says, excuse me, can you tell me where, you know, J Street is? And they missed the bus. And now they say, oh, darn it, I missed the bus. And then down the line, they wind up seeing that the, the bus broke down and had a thermal crack. Now, that one person was put in place at that time to stop you from getting on that bus. So my point is, is that this is not happenstance. This is uh, everything is for a reason, and we have to get back, right? I do well. Sean does, as you, as you can imagine. Uh, I mean, you guys do well and well, right? So uh, I know what side my bread is put it on. I, I didn't always have on this suit. I didn't always have on his feet. And I know that if there was a time that I said, you know what, I know, I said, if, if you could just give me a hand up, I want a hand out. I just want a hand up. Just give me a little taste of something that can get me started. I'm a workhorse. I'm not a show horse. All I need is a little something, and I'm ready to go. So mm -hmm. so that's what we're trying to do. If I, you know, if we take a couple, 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 couple public, you know, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna make ten million dollars a year. You know, you all money, you know, and 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 you're sitting around just and, and having everybody admire you. But there's enough money for everybody. Yeah. So, you know, I was uh, I built missiles for a while. You know, I was the engineer for Raytheon, and and uh, you know, my conscience got to me. I said, you know, this is enough is enough. I can't continue to do things to hurt people, and so I'm that kind of person. So I want everybody. To, to understand a tree has a reason to be here in purpose to put our air, right? And we have a purpose to be here. Your purpose may be, you know, to help your to, to have children and your grandchild may be Obama. Mm -hmm. You never know where to put, you have to live your purpose. So I feel as though this is my purpose. I'm going to get back and 
And I'm so grateful that Sean and, and uh, Kyle have come to join us at Casino Mobile. These guys have money. I mean, 80, 80, $85 million playing basketball. I mean, these guys don't need it. You know, but they're coming out and they're, and, they're, and, they're, and they're willing to give their time. And I'm very grateful for it. So I want everybody to come out. Now, the one thing I want to that knowledge is not power. So I can sit here and view of knowledge all day long. You can come to that bit and say, wow, look, you know, look at all we learned. We went to go in and how to build the court, how to get the PG, how to go get some money, then take it to the next level, then go into the show and, get, and take it to the million dollar level. But if you don't do anything with that knowledge, you've wasted our time and you've wasted your time. So knowledge is not power. The application of knowledge is power. So, you, so if you want to leave a legacy for your children, you want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, change your life. Uh, it's no, it's no fun. You cannot think when you're worried about bills. Yeah. And no matter how rich you are, no matter how rich you are, you still have to worry about your bills. I mean, Donald Trump. I mean, this guy could be a you know, four million dollars. You still have to say, uh oh, I got to come up with a billion dollars. You know, so we don't have to take issues, but I'd rather have to worry about coming up with a million dollars than having to come up with my rent. Hey, hey, I tell you that much. Well, Mr. Whitehead, thank you so much for being on the show again. I appreciate it. I, when is the Atlanta? What date is that? That's going to be uh, at the end of this month, the 30th. That's going to be uh, November the 30th at the Post Oak. And you can go to economicnature.com and sign up. Uh, or you can go to Eventbrite and sign up. Eventbrite. And uh, as I said, if they're coming in, they mention your name. So you can go VIP and they can walk past everybody and, and they can bring a friend and you'll have a good time and we're going to teach. Uh, and that's our way of giving back. Awesome. I am so excited. Mr. Timor, Tam- I know you're having issues with your uh with your stream it's okay we know that you're here and we appreciate you coming in and being here today as well um i want to thank you again derek it has been such a pleasure having you on the show people love when they when you come on um they can actually go to the youtube channel i'm going to go ahead and tag that in the description on the youtube channel so that people can actually go and join your youtube channel you teach so much on youtube as well it's just amazing Sorry uh, about that. no it's okay it's amazing what you've taught on the youtube and people can literally go there and find out you also do a free a webinar am i correct that's right you do a free webinar on uh uh tuesday thursday so you can go to economic make sure and sign up for that free webinar. And we also, uh, when, when, when Sean or Kyle is available, we're very busy guys. To, uh, they'll come on and they'll answer questions. And it's a great forum. Uh, we can also, people can also go to uh, TikTok. That's Derek, Derek Whitehead, Derek P. Whitehead on Instagram. Derek P. Whitehead. And you can see tons and tons and tons of free information tons and tons of it uh on uh on tiktok you can i believe it's Derek whitehead and there's tons and tons of information on there so i mean actually just giving gems at the gym you know uh the things that you need to get your credit together uh you have to get your credit together then you're going to need to go in and get your corporation together then we're going to teach you the five bureaus of the corporation equifax experience don't match the uh uh, uh, small business financial exchange. It's AMET. We need to know these things. So we know you want a car, you're going to go to payment. You know, we want those those uh, loans, the installment lines. We go to we build up our uh, uh, small business financial exchange. That's bank talking to bank. Okay, we need to know these things. This has been kept a secret for us since Rome. This isn't new. So uh, you can find a lot of information there, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, um, uh, we have all the uh, LinkedIn and all these places. They, they, uh, I have a great, a great amount of people that have come in since they saw myself and Sean and Kyle and 
it's just growing and growing and growing. So we have people that are coming and say, okay, Derek, I'll shoot for you. I mean, very uh, important how people got to say, I'll shoot this for you. You know, you're doing a good thing. So I'm happy that so many people are getting involved so that we can come out and give the people this information. And uh, I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Um, it's always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and if you're watching in Atlanta now on the DuPont Network, we got about 4.3 million people. So guys, um, you know, rally up. Let's go. Hello. I mean, we, we need to pack that house. But most of all, you need to pack your bank account. I'm just going to say. <laughs> So guys, yeah. if you are interested in this conference, please go ahead and take advantage of it. Go to economicmasonry.com. Also, the discount code is Yaya. I'm not going to tell you how much because if you knew how much of a discount you would get, you'd probably be like, no way, no way. But you're getting that discount. Um, I wish I could go. I'm going to be in West Palm Beach that day, but I definitely will be hanging out with you guys, hopefully in the future soon. I want to thank you guys so much for being on the show. It's just been a pleasure. Thank you, Mr. Tamor and Mr. Whitehead. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to dare to be different. But remember, you know, if you want to get your business in intact and everything, I'm going to put some links in the description for Mr. Whitehead so that you guys can follow and get some more information from him. And if you have any questions, please put them in the description box or just go ahead and go to his TikTok Go to his Instagram, go to his YouTube and ask questions. Don't be asking me. Ask him. He knows what he's talking about. Okay. <laughs> I want to thank you guys again so much. And don't forget to dare to be different. Mr. Whitehead and Mr. Tamor, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys. And until next time, bye. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Late Night with Yaya Diamond would like to give a big thank you to our executive sponsor, DuPont Network. Thank you to our supporters The Legends with Tyrone Lowe, EncoreKicks.com, author Gloria Anderson Little, and Never Stop Entertainment.